Um, hi, good evening, Professor. This is regarding the um, CICD pipeline. And I'll start showing what I have done. And I have uh, taken screenshots of everything. And um, also, I want to say that at the end of my operation on the server, this failed to start and this crashed, you know. So this helps all my work, including Helm also, you know, Dr. Helm. But I want to show you what I've done. So we can have the screenshots already. So this is the pipeline. And install sonar tube on Windows, installing sonar dot bad. Oh, this is on Windows, so I'll skip that. Um, yeah, I'll skip it. We'll go straight to yes, adding a project. So that's port 9000 for sonar cube. 2127.0.0.1 projects, create a project, CSED pipeline. And here we go. We have the sonar dot bad. And um, here we have um, the machine name for the centralized Ansible machine. And um, yeah, we're testing out Ubuntu here, testing out the GUI. So git init and git install Node.js with HTML instead, using concourse as CI to replacing version three, version two, setting up concourse DB in Postgres, yep. And single fly, then it's using fly to connect to multiple concourse servers. And um, yes, and Dr. Docker Compose minus D and um, using Git folder, fly minus T tutorial, execute minus C task, hello world at YAML. Then it initializes and then it goes to fly, execute this and goes to build three and uh, install concourse for you, but okay. So here we upgraded the Ubuntu go to a better version instead, uh, going to be version 20. And then to fly minus minus version concourse, so we add this user and group here. And then uh, we install here, this is again fly um, status, web concourse, web concourse workers or worker process, checking um, the service in the background, service working active. Enable Concourse Work, Concourse Worker. Now we upgrade to a new machine and here, here you go. Here is the, is the build one and the Concourse that's the, uh, that's uh, deploying to this build to the web, to this web to the URL. Then um, now it's de deploying this also. Now we're stopping Docker Compose to see the processes. So I bring everything down. Let's start up Docker Compose to see the process. Now we have the pipeline, hello world, you know? Hello world, job, hello world, yes. And then um, fly seems to be true to create for a plane. Yeah, so we have to create user on install. Yeah. So these are kind of the challenges I faced. And um, so I have kind of written um, what to do, what is not, um, uh, what does not work, you know? So. It uses a pure Postgres installation, no Docker containers. In Concourse, we're not supposed to do anything outside Docker. Concourse runs in Docker containers, stacking your containers for each plan if you want. You'll see if you do something like this below. Um, so we have to modify the YAML for Concourse. So actually, I have tried, tried three different runs, you know, with Docker and without Docker. And um, uh, on a separate VM, you know, so I have kind of run this many, many times to uh, really get a the best uh, way of do a, uh, of deploying concourse and fly, you know. So if this is using Docker, it's like minus it bash. <laughs> then we're using psql for, to go into the um, Postgres database for concourse. So we must specify the DB need for it to work. Finish info, so we're just taking a look at the concourse tables, you know, so access to open authentication code, 55 tables in concourse database owned by concourse user. So now we're going to Docker compose YML version three. We're going to concourse tables concourse host. Yeah, so this should be, this is wrong. We should put the right Docker container, you know, as it goes. And then next step minus TUPLN only in active internet connection only servers. So you have the concourse process, Postgres process, but belongs to standalone, not and not the Docker. So we have to be 
careful to differentiate the standalone from the darker Postgres. So now we're removing the standalone Postgres. We're going to tell, yeah, this uh, standalone process. Then we're going to check standalone Postgres remain. Finally, we're going to use only the Docker. Perfect. We go ahead, Conquest TV, right, right, right. Now it shows, and now it shows a dashboard Conquest. And now it shows here. This is the machine that's, that crashed, actually. It had a lot of processes running, and I was doing two things at the same time. I was running Helm at the same time, and I was running the sonar cube from the um, other um, party shell, you know, and it crashed. It was so much work, I think, on the machine. Um, logging using admin and credentials, all, all pipelines showing our uh, congresses. Um, yes, so it had this. Fly my institutional worker. So these are the worker processes in the background. So it shows all of them. And then args, hello world, pipeline, hello world, pipeline created. There you go, Docker PS minus A uh, in the interactive mode. And then um, yes, uh, run, run busy box, bar, bar, busy box for conquerors. Again, you see the hello world, and now you see the hello world job, hello world task. Mm, so now it has an image check error, but it was resolved actually, failed to pick in the registry. So now we have to change this DNA, DNS proxy enable, DNS proxy enable, perfect. And that was the solution, you know. Critical to put these uh, parameters or Docker won't download busy boxes. So that's what I found and the download completed and uh, using the using and we finish. And then we add sonar here to the mixer tests. And uh, we choose it, we say, um, cconf equal to y, filter equal to y, sonar admin, JDBC username password, starting sonar queue, starting sonar permissions, default port is 9000. So I can install this, we install this with this, sonar queue bearers, in with this, start limit. And that's because this is a um, standalone upper here, queue devsecops three, we start with again, sonar queue, and we get this error. But yeah, the solution is to use Docker images instead, that's the solution. Yeah, so just use Docker Composed or YMO. Yes, it opened very fast after this. Right. So now I have um, got a list of the um, problems and how we could solve it. We used the wrong CI CD tool, GitHub Actions. We should have gone with Jenkins on premise instead. Ansible Actions, create workflows, YML for files, and create jobs. Each module generates code for read, read by next module. We have to upgrade to the latest Ubuntu 24 or uh, for Oh, but it was very unstable. Several F disk errors are booting. Finally, the module has to be tested by an outside tool. Yes, so we tested with Sonaki. We deployed Concourse. It's a better choice. If it's 100% scripted instead of UI, you know. So this is my take on the, um, uh, assignment three for. Um, the concourse and uh, Hello World and for Sonar Cube. Um, and this was all done on on premise server, and that server has crashed now because I was running. Uh, I don't know why it should crash, but um, it was he being heavily used at that time. And after that, it, it did not come up, you know. Um, I don't know if I could have taken a backup or um, what could have been done, you know, but. Um, that's that's how it, it works. But I'm happy I could get this screenshot so that I could share and do this video. Um, thank you.